Yes, people, and you don't know, we're back with another video and you're kicking it with the real Gunner Lee. If you're new to the video, new to the channel, just subscribe, send a like, and you know, keep on rocking with us. And you know, all we do is just keep it all about Arsenal. And yeah, you don't know what the video title is, it's giving you the recap of the Manu Arsenal game, my reaction, and my player ratings. So, let me get started. Um, game ended 1-0 um, to the Arsenal, to the Gunners. Um, you know, the whole week I had my friends there, you know. All my new fans, Ray Tay Tay, them of Rashford, them of all these people who gonna come and kill with Bruno, Fernandez, Fernandez, all of them things that them did at all. And listen, it was a cage affair, it wasn't no 5 nil, 4 nil, anything, it's just one goal in it. Um, and the, uh, the, the way that both teams um, kind of set up is more pragmatic, you know, us in our normal 3 4 3 formation. Um, Leno in goal, you had um, Holden, Gabriel, Tierney, Saka on the left wing back, Bellerin on the right wing back. Through the middle, a bit of surprise party on El Nini with that partnership, it looks to be amazing. And that's something that I want to see going forward because that was brilliant today in terms of them kind of being mobile and handling the midfield and I really think they control the midfield. You know, play party and then and in on the on the front tree and then uh, front tree for now big names Laka Abba William on the right. Um yeah, so let's get to the game people. As I say it was more like a cage affair. Um no real not a lot of shots in it. I think it's about eight to seven shots at the end of the game. Possession about, you know, the same. But if you were watching the game you see that Arsenal kinda had more of the potential chances. One of the biggest chances going to um, Saka actually. And I think there's a cross from possibly Bellerin into Saka for a free header. And he just puts it wide. Um, before that, William also gets a cut in on through the right and um, gets a curler, hits the post. And enough for us, most of the play is actually through the left. So it's funny enough that we actually end up creating the goal on the right side through Bellerin trying to you know, overlap on the right wing back position. It's kind of right midfield hybrid that him playing with Arteta. Gets that ball, we get the penalty. A by my young slots it away. Um, and yeah, people, that was the spoils. There's nothing much in it. Manu never really create that many chances. We created just enough. Um, just created with the penalty. Abba created a chance with a nice link up with Laka. Wasn't able to get it on goal. And and people, that really was the game. It was really more containment of defense, good midfield possession, progression, ball retention by party and El Nini. I tell you man, like it was a party today because the man was everywhere, every single way, every single thing that you wanted the midfield position to do, party and El Nini was doing that. You want to retrieve the ball, track back, progress the ball forward. It was a big time performance by both of them and big time performance, performance by party and you know <laughs> That's why you pay the big money for somebody to come in the team and change the team like you guys saw today. And if you didn't, I'd like you guys to, there must be clips going around the place, a whole compilation of what the man did today because the man was, it was big time, it was everywhere. It's the midfielder that we need dynamic, you know, stringing balls around, moving the play, bodying people up for the ball, you know, he was, I mean, the man was, neck and neck with Pogba the whole time. I mean, anytime Pogba think he was be able to get a shot off, space to create, Partey was there. Was there, he would be breaking up play. Even a couple of times, he would break up play, try to progress it, lose the ball. It looks like they're going for a break and then he break up the play again. Man's tenacious and that's kind of what our team is kind of, you know, kind of centered around now. It's more this tenacious, hardworking, grinding, pressing team. And that's what we really did well. We, we pressed them into locked in the ball forward and we got the ball back off of headers. And then we did our own possession play, you know, our slow build up from the back. But we did, you know, gain certain possession and, you know, create certain chances. And at the end of the day, it was always going to be a, a tight affair with both managers not really want to give that much. And I must just shout out to, you know, the defense of our team in terms of the strength and like, 
you know, being being in touch with the likes of Rashford and Greenwood kind of keep them in check the most of the game. I don't remember Rashford getting that many shots off. I know Greenwood had a shot off in the first half when we kind of let him through. But other than that, there's not that much to write about if you're a Man United fan. Disappointed performance by them. And for us, it's just, you know, the first time that we beat Manchester United in like 14 years or plus. Um, so that's big for us, you know. That's a that's a big knock off our shoulder, you know. It's showing us that you know we are progressing as a team, and we're looking forward for bigger, better things. So, people just to wrap it up, I just go and give you my my highlights for the game. I mean, my I guess my highlights, my ratings for the game. Um, so Leno in goal, give Leno an eight. I don't think he was bad distributing the ball at all. Never really had his his slip ups that have been synonymous with him in the last couple of games. Thought it was solid when he had to save, he was there when he had to be commanding in the air, he was so that's an eight. I think Gabriel is like partner man of the match for me, so he gets a nine. Um, I think he was a little bit lucky there with a few yellow card incidents, but he was strong, fast, quick, smart, working the ball around. He had a great performance holding. I think I give an eight, you know, caught, you know, caught in possession sometimes, you know. And losing the ball at awkward, awkward positions, but I think he was strong, track back, did well. So, holding at eight, Tierney, not one of my favorite games from Tierney, but I did see that he worked hard and tried to progress the ball. So, I'll give Tierney a seven. You know, for me, I hold Tierney in high regard. Not one of his best games, but also not a bad game for us. He did well. Um, Saka, also Saka, I'll give a seven. Bellerin. Bellerin just for the run to get the penalty that's like an assist so I give Bellerin an 8 today Partey again I told you guys Partey and Ellen and then they were big time they share a 9 in the midfield for me William did well in terms of getting a ball I think he lost the ball too cheaply a few times there so I give William say so I give William a 7 um, Laka worked hard as well he gets a 7 for his work rate if not anything else um, a ball with a goal Work rate, I think, was there, but with a goal, you know, sealing the game for us, that's like eight people. And they don't know, that's that's the video. So if you like the video, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share, tell me what your ratings are for the game, what you thought about the performance, is that what you predicted? I know I wasn't really too sure it would have been a win, but I'm happy it's a win, and then we move forward, people, you know. Uh, I think that brings us to about 12 points in the league. Um, the league is still for the taking. You know, Liverpool is first now with not, not many points to go. So, yeah, people, is looking good for the Arsenal. And we'll move on three points to the Gunners. Big up. Done now. Keep it locked.